everybody today I am here with uni hi guys and we're going to be build battling in the theme of a beauty salon are you ready yep let's get started we're going to first start off with the exterior of course over here will be the entrance I'm mapping out all the walls well not all of them but most of them for the entrance i'm adding in some tables and just stacking them up over here i'm placing some tables and some pillars because i'm going to be adding in lots of windows because i feel like sunlight for this beauty salon will be just perfect. Yes, I know there is a lot of white in the front, but in the inside I change it up with mint green, gray, wood a lot because I feel like it looked more soothing. And yes, I do use other colors, so don't worry, it's not all white. Over here is the place that I'm adding in as the front desk area, and there's also going to be some waterfalls in the back, and that was one of my favorite additions to this because I absolutely love that the waterfalls actually have running water. Yes, I know, I'm going to be adding in lots of plants because I felt like the plants in nature for this build really fit with the theme. I mean, like, I add plants everywhere, but still, it, like, gives a soothing thing. That's what you want at a beauty salon. You don't want to feel like, oh my gosh, there's so much metal around us, and then you hear, like, trucks and stuff outside. You want something calm and, like, relaxing, and I felt like plants do that, so that's why I keep adding them in. Over here I'm going to be adding in these two walls, even though they looked weird now, they will look better. I promise I also added in some bushes so it gave it some more pop texture. Here will be like the makeup area or the salon area, the hair, spot, I don't know, whatever you want to call it or whatever you want to use it for. I also connected these chairs to a rounded couch because it looked awesome i love how the armrest popped out and it looked like it had two pillows too extra comfortable who <laughs> Since you also need some hair preparations, I decided to add in, I don't know the word for it, but there's like sinks and then a chair where you can wash your hair, add in dye, and I just connected them so they looked pretty great. Now I'm going to be adding in some accessories like a hair dryer, a comb, a hair straightener, and also some perfumes.
At this point, I wasn't really sure what I'm going to do next, so I just extended this wall a few times and thought, why not make like a secret room, not really secret, but like a room just for makeup. Yes, the other room also worked, but there were only four spots. So I decided to mix things up and just go from here, adding in lots of mirror, lots of light, lots of white, <laughs> light and whites. Whoop, whoop. After Panda said that she choked on air, just thought you would like to know. Okay, really? You had to tell them? I know I did choke on air, but <laughs> it's kind of sad that this actually happened. <laughs> So you're going to see me moving the desks and chairs a lot because I wanted the chairs to have an angle but it didn't work because it kept connecting to the desks so I had to change them and also like move them around and stuff like that that's why there was a lot of movement. Then I decided that I really like these combined chairs together and the lights looked perfect. I absolutely was in love with that. I loved the mirrors on the walls so I just kept it that way. Just a heads up that I changed the pillars around a lot because I felt like it was a little bit too crowded in the corner and it looked kind of bad. So I spread them out and put them pretty much all over for them to have more room and give more texture to the place where it was needed. Okay, hold up. Did you see that makeup set? It's so detailed. Sorry, I just had to say how awesome it was. I know I added a lot of paintings here. I was thinking of doing something with a lot of wood texture, like a real life wood, and putting it there, but the paintings were too big, so I decided to delete them and get the mini ones. Right now, I'm outlining a space for the bathroom. This will serve for both men and women, or boys and girls, whatever you want to call them. Credits to Bunny for this sink idea with the tables underneath it because I saw it in her bathroom and I decided to put it in here because it looked really aesthetic and pretty. I absolutely love it and I just wanted to add it there. <laughs> I don't know why but I felt the need to have an upstairs for like a chill out area and where to get like your entertainment stats up, your fun up. So I just added in like a lounge upstairs where there's going to be a TV, some waterfalls and pretty much that. On the shelf I added lots of perfumes and makeup sets along with some soaps because I felt like when you walked into a salon or a beauty salon you wanted to see that they have things in stock and ready to buy if you really like the product, so that's why I just added that there.
At this moment, I was living all for these tiny windows and all these windows because I love sunlight in any build, so it lowers the need for any bills paid, any lights actually added into the ceiling. And I added in these carpets along with some couches because you really need to just sit there and chill out if you're watching someone do their makeup for like five hours. Okay, that's an over exaggeration, but you get what I mean. And now I'm finally going up to the upstairs and getting that ready. In all honesty, I didn't know what I was doing with these corners, but I really like how it turned out with the bushes surrounding the water drooping down, so I just kept that there. Here is where I'm going to be adding in like the lounge area with some couches and a TV. And now I'm going to be coloring the outside of the build, as you can see. I actually enjoy doing the roofs because they look really pleasant in this build, in my opinion of course, and I loved how pointy it was and how flat some areas were. I know some people don't like the flat roofings, but I feel like this build was fit for it because it had lots of points on the other side and it really looked like a store in my opinion. Now I'm going to be outlining like a parking lot because I felt the need to have that. I usually don't put that in in my builds. But I decided to this time. There's also going to be places where I put like trees and also plants everywhere on the outside because you need the decoration. Outside decoration also counts because then people come into your store and have you let them do your hair. I mean their hair. You don't want to do your hair because you're like the salonist. What's the name? The salonist? The beautiest? No. The worker. You also need those outside lamps because what if it turns dark? You want your parking lot to be lit up because you don't want anyone coming and stealing a car, do you? That sounded pretty bad because it's blocked break, but you know what I mean. You get it, you get it. <laughs> I'm going to finish up decorating the outside right now and you're going to watch me pretty much. Unless you click off of this video, please don't because we're almost at the end. And now I'm going to be adding in lights as you can probably tell. Since this wall was also a little bit plain, I just added in some mirrors, a table of plants of course, when in doubt, add plants. Emma bless y'all souls by singing a song, plants, 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 plants are pandas friends. P-L-A-N-T-S, yay. I really felt that these plants and tables really gave a good outside decoration so I just added them in for the other windows to make it more even too at the same time. Right now I'm just adding in some last minute decorations and making sure everything is just perfect. 
I honestly don't know why I added that wardrobe there other than the need for changing. So that's pretty much it. Now the tours are coming up soon, so get ready. Here we go. Who will win? Uni or Panda? <laughs> that was too cringy. Oh my gosh, that was like the worst one I've ever done. <laughs> for watching don't forget to comment down below to tell us who you think won be 
If you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button to be part of the Panda Wanda Habitat and click that bell to be notified of when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girl is out. Bye!